Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, and the starting point for many people heading off to a trekking or mountain climbing adventure in the Himalaya. This is Tamil, the tourist and backpacker center of town, home to many budget hotels, cafes, restaurants, and shops selling everything from yak bone jewelry to fake brand name outdoor clothing. It's Deepavali, the Hindu festival of light celebration, and the third day when Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, is honored. It definitely felt festive as business owners decorated their shops with marigold garlands, rangoli art, and candles. Even the bicycle rickshaws were adorned with flowers. These children are continuing a tradition of going door to door singing happy Deepavali songs for a little donation. Lakshmi is said to roam the earth on this day, visiting homes and businesses that are clean, decorated brightly and illuminated with lights and candles. You can clearly see everyone has been busy at work, ensuring a visit from the goddess of wealth, especially around Durbar Square, the center of town. As the sun set, the city got busier and more lights were turned on, a challenge for a city on an energy grid with daily power cuts. It was also election time, so political supporters were out using the exposure during the festivities to promote their party and candidates. I really enjoyed the feeling in the streets of Kathmandu during Deepavali. It seemed more restrained compared to India's version in my experience. The streets were still crowded with people wearing new clothes, socializing and checking out the many light displays in front of the shops. The constant explosions from fireworks were gone though, making for a more calm evening. For Far East Adventure Travel Magazine, this is John Sabo in Kathmandu, Nepal.